So the Indian community here in Nairobi is huge and that's an amazing thing because they make the best food in the world. We are massive, massive fan of Indian food. Mm -hmm. And there's restaurants like Ren Ginger, which is very popular, yep. uh, but it's more like of a hype restaurant for like very cool people. Too. Yeah. Very huge yeah. too. Um, there's Open House, which is more a like- A little bit more intimate. Yeah, but dining in somebody's like dining room. Yeah. But there's another restaurant, Indian restaurant that we really love here in Nairobi and it's Mint Shack. This is like the perfect place to come with friends, be loud, yeah. have fun, have a few drinks. And let me tell you, this place is always packed. Like yeah. it's just, it's tables outside too, so you're not like inside, but everything's covered. So don't worry about that. Yeah. Um, but it's just a good vibe. Right now it's not packed because it's 4.30 and that's there's our, nobody else. That's our But they fault. open at 11 a.m. Yes. <laughs> oh, let's order. It will be bumping. Okay, also, actually where we're sitting right now, they actually do Karuga. I think I'm gonna say that wrong. I haven't heard it in a really long time. Um, we wanna do that sometime too, but we don't really know how, and you have to come with a group of friends, so trying to get everyone's schedule lined up is a little bit hard. Um, but yeah, this is mainly where it gets packed in the evenings, to be honest. So since it's super warm because we're still here in the afternoon-ish, we decided to get sangria. I can't remember the last time I had sangria, so you know what? Summer calls for sangria. Cheers to having supper at 4.30 and being in bed by 8.30. Sounds like our kind of night. We're such party people. <laughs> That's really good. Oh yeah, it's almost like peachy. Yeah, it's very peachy. Mm. So there's, uh, I see nine waiters right now and we are the only customers and nobody's coming to see us. I feel like they just don't believe that we're gonna it's eat this early. 100% what it is. Because <laughs> we have drinks, so they're just chilling. Like. Believe it or not, we're hungry. <laughs> So our waiter, who's a subscriber by the way, so shout out to him, um, asked me if I wanted my food spicy, put some chili on it. I was like, well, how spicy it is, right? I want my food spicy, but Indian people, they like their food like spicy, spicy. So I don't want to make that mistake because I've made that mistake in the past where I asked for actual spicy food in an Indian restaurant. I regretted it for days. I'm not going to give you too much detail, but if you know, you know. For me, mild. That's all I can do. Spice flavor is good. I can't add hot on top. <laughs> So time to address our new furry friends because I know somebody will probably pick up on it. Um, so we've been fighting with Windu like restaurants and everything. With all the noise around, it's really hard to hear with just like the shotgun mic. So we now have mics, so just disregard. They're just gonna do their thing. Just don't look at it. Something nice, they always bring you fresh vegetables, tomato, carrots, cucumbers, uh, onions, and even know why? red pepper. That's exactly what I was gonna say. I'm not sure why they actually do that and how I'm supposed is to eat it. Is it to munch on? Or is it to go specifically with something? That's what I wanna Good know. Good question. People, help us out. <laughs> One thing that's kind of, I would say a new concept, because back home I don't remember doing any of this stuff, but I love how it's served kind of like sharing style. So mm -hmm. it just each comes in as little bowls. If we want to try some of yours, vice versa, then... Oh, you're not trying some of mine. Um, yes, I am. He just doesn't know it yet. Um, yeah, so you can just kind of dish up into your own plate and it's really good. Oh, yours too, huh? Thank you. By the way, only one rice is all you need between like... That's huge. Two people. I just made a mess It's everywhere. like three portions. You want more? How about you do that for now? Because <laughs> I'm tired of scooping for you. <laughs> I normally get the butter beans. They're like butter beans curry and oh my goodness, I love them. And I always get the butter chicken because it's amazing. True, the butter chicken is really good too, but there's something about... I'm into lentil dishes since we came to Kenya. That's very true. You guys do them really well. That's Indian food though. I know, but there's a lot of Indian influence in Kenyan food. Sure. Anyways, and then we got some garlic naan. Which yeah. is key. <laughs> so let me just take a first bite and pretend that I've never been here before. Mm. Mm. Surprising, very good. So, so good. But one thing I love too, 
is like the naan bread, so we get the garlic naan, and it's literally just chopped up garlic on it and butter. Mm. I don't know if you can see, but you can see like a big piece of mm -hmm. garlic. That's really good. Tracy's probably gonna regret it in a few hours mm -hmm. because of like stomach burn, but she's gonna probably say it's worth it. It's so worth it. <laughs> mm. Naan is so good, but I have to say, chapatis are just a little bit better. That's my opinion. Sounds good, appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. It's always a pleasure to meet you guys. Tracy just let me try, um, or what is it, bean curry? Butter beans. Butter, Butter beans. bean curry. And it's, it's really good. But, butter chicken is always the winner. Okay, I will give his a fair chance, don't get me wrong. A little bit of rice. I'm just waiting for our other Nan to come. I'd rather if you didn't try. Just just a little bite. You started it. It looks more red hot spicy to be honest. Mine is spicy, but it's it, you should be fine. Mm. Mm -hmm. I guess I have a bit of a different flavor than what mine does, mm. to be honest. Yeah. Our butter nan has just arrived. Because you never have enough nan. No, I should have ordered two from the start. And look at that. Oh my goodness. Is it bigger? It's just fresh. No, three pieces. Huh. Did you have two pieces on the last one? Yeah. I had one. I know, that's what I said. It was two pieces. <laughs> I will always take the last piece of nan. <gasps> I always get so torn. Like, what is better? Garlic or butter? I, I prefer the good old butter nan. I think I do too, but the garlic is really good just for like... That's fair. Well. Cool. I'll spice it up. Because we still have a little space in our stomach. We just ordered the most Indian dessert ever. Just wait to see it. Yeah, I want to give them a special shout out for the toilets. They are spick and span. The cleanest toilet I've ever seen in a restaurant. Probably because they cleaned them before we want to arrive. But like right now, 10 out of 10. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> we get an Oreo sundae. That's Indian, right? I mean, they have ice cream in India. Therefore, it's kind of Indian, I guess. <laughs> To wash down the spice, I feel like ice cream is pretty dangerous. These are real Oreos too, eh? Yeah, but they're like also chocolate Oreos. Not the other one. This is good. That's good ice cream. Try on there, so I can get some. It's perfect after a spicy meal. Yeah. That's really good ice cream. Huh. Just got the bill, not bad at all. 4,150 Canadian shillings, and in that we have a full pitcher of sangria, which was like 1,500. So for two nans, the rice, a pitcher of sangria, uh, butter chicken, butter beans, and a liter of water, 41.50, and, and ice cream, not bad at all. So after all, the total is 45.50 because the ice cream comes on a separate bill, which I didn't know. It's it's an ice cream parlor, fitting. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Something I love about this restaurant is that it's completely outside. So in the summer, perfect. Thank you so much. Yes, you will. There's even a playground there, so feel free to bring your kids. <laughs> so Minshak, once again, I'm a fan. It wasn't our first time. It's not gonna Probably be our last like time. like four or five times, to be honest. Yeah. Every time we so get good. the same thing, yeah. I highly, highly suggest the butter chicken. I mean, it's delicious and if you're vegetarian butter beans yeah. all the way but we've come with other friends uh, who tried other yeah. things i've never heard anyone complain about this place so that's that two true. location uh this one in pony road so yeah we're at pony road now but there's also one in hurlingham no in kimani oh that place there's some hurlingham. i think it's close I i'm not very good about <laughs> check through instagram all the information is there i'm gonna link it down below because i'm a nice guy so anyway <laughs> Time to go back home because, yeah. uh, well, it's, it's Thursday and I work tomorrow. So see you guys in the next one.